First of all, I must congratulate all your teams, uh, led by Agat Mankalwar, uh, on actually putting up this whole thing together where uh, people from different specialities are going to just talk to you about the specialty, so this will help you choose. Uh, you must understand, uh, dear students, that uh, the future of medical care, in fact, even the present, I would say, uh, is in doing subspecialities, right? So you specialize after your MBBS and then you subspecialize again because I very strongly believe that gives you much better quality of uh, life on a personal front and on a professional front as well. So my uh, specialty uh, or subspecialty is uh, fetal medicine. I did my MBBS in Nagpur Medical College, uh, after which I got married, had a kid, and then uh, I went to the UK following my husband, where I uh, you know, did my PLAB examination, followed by uh, the MRCOG part one, and I got my uh, job in obstetrics and gynecology. So I worked for about five and a half years, uh, two years as an SHO, uh, one year as a senior researcher and two and a half years as a registrar, uh, following which my uh, passion for fetal medicine uh, started realizing in me. So uh, then I decided that I wanted to do fetal medicine uh, and uh, I decided that is going to be the specialty that I will practice for the rest of my life. So that's when I uh, approached uh, Professor uh, Kipros Nikolaides and I'm talking about uh, in 2002 uh, where uh, fetal medicine was unheard of in India. Uh, of course he was very kind and uh, he said if I have to be uh, good in what I want to do which is what I wanted to be uh, he said two years no less than two years. So what I'm trying to emphasize is if you choose to do a subspeciality, it's extremely important that you devote good amount of time in your training period so that you'd learn the correct method of training and then move on. Now, I came back to India in 2004 and subsequently I've been running pretty successfully a fetal medicine clinic in Bangalore and also we do fellowship courses in fetal medicine for people who want to subspecialize in fetal medicine. So how do you subspecialize in fetal medicine? First of all, I think uh, you need to have a good base in obstetrics and gynecology or radiology and both are complementary to each other. So I do have students who have done radiology as a subspecial, sorry, uh, radiology as their subspecialty and subsequently want to subspecialize in fetal medicine. Uh, similarly, obstetrics and gynecology, they have completed their OBG, uh, either an MD or a DGO. Some of them have worked for some time, some of them are fresh out of their uh, MD, o OBG, and then come on to fetal medicine. So there are a number of training units in India now who train in fetal medicine. What I would very strongly recommend to all students is that please devote good amount of time and I'm talking good amount of time is two years at least because if you want to be good at something you have to be very focused and be in the speciality to be able to kind of give it and the best time to do it is soon after you complete your uh, uh, post graduation of course or rather within five years of completing your, completing your post graduation because that's what I see with my students the ones who are fresh out of their uh, post graduation are much quicker at picking up uh, fetal medicine. Now, fetal medicine is entirely a specialty which just revolves only around the fetus, as we say. So, how do you look at the fetus? The fetus is seen uh, on an ultrasound, uh, and therefore, it is primarily ultrasound based uh, uh, specialty. So you need to be really good in your ultrasound scanning and the speciality is very much hands-on and all the units that offer good fetal medicine training will give you a lot of hands-on training uh, in uh, fetal imaging, ultrasound imaging. Now, over and above that, after you have diagnosed uh, the problem, then there comes the part where you have to treat the fetus or uh, manage the fetus and see how the rest of the pregnancy needs to be managed, which could be if there is a uh, serious anomaly which 
uh, is got no compatibility and or is, it is incompatible in utero and ex utero, then of course we need to discuss the possibility of termination of pregnancy very sensitively uh, with the couple. If there is, and of course before we talk about termination, we have to explain the problem and what are the possible um, uh, difficulties that the uh, couple may face uh, if the pregnancy is allowed to continue. Then one of the most common examples of fetal therapy is uh, giving steroids to the mother to help the fetal lung maturity and uh, that works wonders uh, for the neonate. So there is a lot, lot more exciting things. Of course, what is coming up uh, and hopefully in the next 10 years, we will have more solutions to it, is uh, fetal surgery where uh, the fetuses are operated in utero uh, either uh, fetoscopically or even sometimes open surgery for spina bifida repair. Of course, there's a large trial going on across the world and we still have to wait for the results before we start using those things uh, in India. But for you students who are probably going to be doing fetal medicine in the next eight to 10 years, uh, and I think it's an extremely exciting branch to be in, a uh, very good, uh, you know, academically, a lot of research work that needs to be done. And of course, very, very importantly, it gives you good quality of life uh, as, you know, there are very few emergencies or rather in the night call uh, in fetal medicine. So I really look forward to seeing a lot of you specializing in fetal medicine because there's a huge demand as well for fetal medicine specialists across the country, uh, especially where, you know, with we are seeing a boom in the mother and child care and focused care uh, in uh, pregnancy and pregnancy related problems. And many hospitals uh, are employing fetal medicine specialists to primarily monitor uh, their, uh, uh, be part of their OBG unit. Now, one thing I would like to highlight to you, fetal medicine speciality is a lot of passion, a lot of hard work, right? Uh, if you are looking at making quick money, then fetal medicine is really not the kind of branch that you should be choosing. Uh, but if you're looking at some great challenging myths, mysteries of life, and you like the mystery books, I used to read a, read a lot of Hardy Boys books when I was in uh, school. Uh, so I used to love that mystery. And, uh, and, and and of course, you know, every fetus is different. Every fetus has got a hidden uh, plan. So, and to keep challenging yourself with these things every day uh, makes fetal medicine really an exciting branch for everybody. I really hope this helps. And I am very happy to help any of you who would like to have more information on this. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can get in touch with me through uh, Alhara.tri or any of this uh, group who is putting all these things together and wish you very, very, uh, you know, uh, wish you a very happy career uh, in whatever you choose. Uh, but I hope I'm able to convince some of you at least to pick fetal medicine and uh, bring up the future of the fetuses in our beautiful country. And this is the need of the hour because we are really behind in fetal medicine compared to many other countries in the world. Thank you very much.